Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe, please thumbs up my videos. I thought this was important. Recently on October 22nd, NASA, part of the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, has asked the world to turn their eyes to the skies to watch for something that may be coming in within the next two months. The UN endorsed International Asteroid Warning Network IAWN has indeed ramped up coordination for 3I Atlas. This is the first interstellar object targeted by IAWN. The question is why? Why are they keeping all the new information, images about 3I Atlas quiet? It's all in the dark. And why the dramatic activation of the International Asteroid Warning Network? They're saying that because of the speed and the anomalies, are to test improved astronomy, such as positioning, tracking, different methods for future threats. They started opening running workshops as of November 7th, asking all astronomer, astronomers, pros and amateurs, to uh, collect data, focus on trajectory, outgassing, composition, and any technological signals. The different NASA assets that are involved is the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST, TESS, SWIFT, SPEAR-X, Perseverance, Curiosity, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the uh, European Clipper, Lucy, Psyche, Parker Solar Probe, Hunch, S-O-H-O, and Juice. They say it builds on PDC. O's NEO tracking, such as DART mission. It's precautionary. Interstellar objects are rare and to refine defense against real hazards like asteroids. 3I Atlas came from the uh, same star system within three degrees of Sagittarius, where the WOW signal was uh, picked up and recorded and is the third confirmed interstellar object to visit our solar system. It was discovered, for many of you that might not know, on July 1st of this year by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, survey in Chile. It's an active comet originating from beyond our solar system, traveling on a hyperbolic trajectory. That means it won't orbit the sun, but will swing through and exit. As of today, October 29th, it's reaching its perihelium its closest point to the sun, about 130 miles or 1.4 AU, just outside of Mars's orbit. This is a major milestone with global observatories capturing real-time data on its behavior. But they're all silent. They're not reporting anything. They're not releasing anything. It only takes about two minutes for the data that they receive to come from that location just outside of Mars to Earth. Only two minutes. They claim it's no threat to Earth. Its closest approach to us is going to be on December, when it's going to be 170 million miles away from us. But it has sparked interest scientifically and some fringe speculations. Today, the comet is being blasted by 770 watts per square meter of solar heat, potentially triggering outbursting or fragmentation if it's a natural icy body. Telescopes worldwide, such as Hubble and James Webb and Gemini South, are monitoring for changes in its coma, that glowing envelope of gas and dust and tail. Early signs included a massive jet of gas and dust, 6,200 miles long, shooting towards the sun. That was captured by a two-meter twin telescope in the Canary Islands. Unusual, they say but consistent with cometary outgassing. No, the tail is going in the wrong direction. And there's been chemical surprises. JWST and other instruments detected water ice, carbon dioxide, which they call fog, carbon monoxide, carbonyl sulfide, and surprisingly, high nickel levels, a compound rare in nature but common in industrial processes. Yeah, it's got to be refined and, uh, yeah, it, this is not natural. Yeah, especially in space. This makeup has fueled debates 
Is it just exotic interstellar chemistry from a disturbed exoplanet fragment or something more malicious? When you got an object that is such high rate of nickel that humans here on Earth have only seen it in industrial processes, you got to wonder. They say that studies that they've done confirm it's too fast and too close to the sun for any flyby probe launched now. Originally, a Mars-based launch might have worked earlier, but now it's too late. Harvard's Abbey Loeb has hyped it as a potential mothership that could release mini probes. I heard that there was, what, 10 mini probes that were released um, earlier this month or at the end of last month that were detected. Its nucleus is 5.6 kilometers or 3.8 miles. Its coma is 26,400 kilometers wide, twice the Earth diameter. And because it's getting closer and closer to the sun, today it's supposed to be the closest, I guess. It shows it's waking up from its interstellar cold, steadily brightening up so far. But there hasn't been any outbursts. The exact date, more than likely, uh, to Earth will be December 19th as it exits towards the uh, star system Aquarius. They say the speed up of whatever this thing is uh, might be because of the gravitational pull from um, the other planets. They say that the speed is tweaks. Yeah, it makes me wonder about the usage of the word tweaks. Yeah, like minor adjustments that it's doing. Loeb had posted on X, saying that the mothership released many probes as gifts, Christmas gifts towards the planets. But NASA says there's no evidence of any actual probes being released. Only natural cometary jets and outgassing. They say the 10 fragments dispersing, uh, which is unconfirmed, could be from the comet under solar stress. They could have just been, you know, fragments that broke off. Scientists say that Calling these things probe is uh, fringe science. They say it's a natural black swan event for science. There's another word, black swan event. Why would they call it a black swan event? A natural black swan event. When I asked Gork, the reply was because it lies outside of normal expectations, has massive consequences such as scientific, observational, or even cultural um, things that happen? Or is it going to be explained in hindsight? People later saying that we should have seen it coming, but no one did. They also say it's a natural black swan because it is the only third confirmed interstellar object ever detected. It is the first active comet from another star system. It was discovered just three months before peril helium, too late for a spacecraft mission to intercept it. It arrived at a hyperbolic excess velocity of 32 kilometers per second, faster than any known solar system object. It is rewriting interstellar um, chemistry. Yeah, they had an unexpected nickel composition of such purity, something they never thought could form in space. Came from the same system Sagittarius as the wow signal. Dr. Kelly Fast of the NASA Near Earth Object Observatory Program said this month, a once in a lifetime interstellar comet that appears with no warning demands every telescope we have and will teach us more about alien solar systems in the past than decades of theories. So now they're asking every astronomer, pro and amateur, to start scanning the night sky for future threats that may come or possibly keep a closer eye on uh, three eye atlas for the next two months and what is yeah for the next two months what are they hiding from us what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you very much for watching please like please share please subscribe for updates yeah i do all kinds of news and i'm keeping people up to date about what i find about 3i atlas always be prepared for a disaster i gotta laugh because sometimes you know no matter what you do you just can't be prepared 
live life the best you can, laugh, dance, and enjoy that bowl of ice cream or that piece of cake. <laughs> Thank you again, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you, Abba.